Buenos días, familias. <risa> <risa> Feliz último día de la escuela de preescolar. Por favor, no olvides de dejar tu nombre en los comentarios abajo. Muchas gracias. Can you believe it's the last day of school? <laughs> it's so exciting! You have learned so much this year. I wanted to celebrate the end of the school year by reading you one of my all-time favorite books. It's called I Can Read With My Eyes Shut by Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is a very famous author. He wrote all kinds of things like The Cat in the Hat, The Lorax. Dr. Seuss is also very famous for all of his rhyming. Do you remember on Tuesday when Miss Kate taught us about rhyming? Let's practice. Rhyming is when two words have the same ending sound. Let's play a quick game so we can practice together. Okay, friends, see these three pictures? We have a bear, a chair, and a bee. Which two words rhyme? Bear, chair, bee. Yeah, bear and chair have the same ending. They rhyme. Let's try another one. What about bee? Glue, tree. Which words rhyme? B, glue, tree. Yeah, B and tree have the same ending sound. Let's look down here. Cake, car, snake. Cake. And snake rhyme. They have the same ending sound. What about stop, star, car? Yeah, star and car have the same ending sound. What about cup, truck, duck? Truck and duck rhyme. What about fox, skunk, box? Yeah, fox and box rhyme. They have the same ending sound. Thanks for your help, friend. It's time to read our story. I can read with my eyes shut by Dr. Seuss. Every time you hear a rhyming word, put your finger on your nose. I can read with my eyes shut by Dr. Seuss. Do you remember what this page is called? It's the title page. I can read in red. I can read in blue. I can read in pickle color, too. <gasps> Blue, too. Those words rhyme. I can read in bed and in purple and in brown. I can read in a circle and upside down. That's so silly, friends. It's kind of tricky to read upside down. I can read with my left eye. I can read with my right. I can read Mississippi with my eyes shut tight. <gasps> right and tight rhyme. Mississippi, Indianapolis, and Hallelujah too. I can read them with my eyes shut. That is very hard to do. but it is bad for my hat and makes my eyebrows get red hot. So reading with my eyes shut, I don't do an awful lot. Oh, 
He does not look very happy there. And when I keep them open, I can read with much more speed. You have to be a speedy reader, because there's so, so much to read. You can read about trees, and bees, and knees, and knees on trees, and bees on threes. Oh, I heard some rhyming. Trees, bees, knees, threes. That's a lot of rhyming words, friends. You can read about anchors and all about ants. You can read about ankles and crocodile pants. <laughs> Have you ever seen a crocodile wearing pants? So silly. You can read about hoses and how to smell roses. And what you should do about owls on noses. <gasps> I heard some rhyming. Nose, rose, hose. Those are all rhyming words. Young cat, if you keep your eyes open enough, oh, the stuff you will learn, the most wonderful stuff. You'll learn about fish bones and wish bones. You'll learn about trombones, too. You're, you'll learn about Jake, the pillow snake, and all about Foo Foo, the snoo. <gasps> Jake and snake. Those are rhyming words. You can learn about ice. You can learn about mice. Mice on ice and ice on mice. You can learn about the price of ice. Nice ice for sale. Ten cents a pail. Oh my goodness, so much rhyming on this page. Mice, ice, nice. You can learn about sad. And glad. And mad. There are so many things you can learn about, but you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. Ah, oh, this is my favorite part of the book. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. That's really important, friends. The more you read, the more you know. And then you'll get to discover so many places. You might learn a way to earn a few dollars, or how to make donuts, or kangaroo collars. You can learn to read music and play a hut set. But if if you keep your eyes open, but not with them shut. If you read with your eyes shut, you're likely to find that the place where you're going is far, far behind. So, that's why I tell you to keep your eyes wide. Keep them wide open, at least on one side. What did you think, friends? Did you like this book? I think it's super fun. Do you think this book is fiction or nonfiction? You're right, it's fiction. This book is not real. Cats don't read, and they don't wear hats. There's lots of silly things in this book. All right, friends, your job is to read as many books as you can, as often as you can. Just like Dr. Sue said, the more that you read, the more that you know, and the more that you know, the more places you'll go. You can discover all kinds of wonderful things and learn so much just by reading stories.
Amigos, tu trabajo es leer lo más que puedes. Porque cuando lees, puedes um, aprender muchísimas cosas. Familias, muchísimas gracias por un año fantástico. Ojalá que nos vemos pronto. No olvides de poner tu nombre en los comentarios abajo. Muchas gracias y nos vemos.